because it is crazy what's happening. So uh, the dinars definitely play a part in this, but I think they're, they're all going to be backed by gold. Everything is going to be back on the gold standard. Would you agree to that? Yeah, well, as, as as you know, I talked about this first. I think there's a there's a specific marker for the dinar to look at, and then you don't have to worry about any hype whatsoever. Because I've studied the dinar for 17 years, I used to write about the dinar. So there's um, something called the HCL, the hydrocarbon law. And what happened is when the Kurds, the Kurds were the best fighting force for for uh, uh, in the Iraqi war. By far. And, and they've saved their ass a couple of times. They've saved their ass with with border wars with Turkey and so on and so forth. So there's been there's been a signed agreement between them that they need to share the proceeds from their their oil. And as you know, as uh, dinar's value has something to do with the gold and the oil because it needs to be valued with something. And it's the minerals in the ground. And other other assets. So what happens is um, they have they've never signed the agreement. They've almost had like a verbal. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So when the hydrocarbon law is signed, to me that's a marker where I start really paying attention to the dinar again because one can't happen before the other. The law has to be signed before the revalue because you can't revalue and then have not, nothing there to give out, sure. right? So. So this is why that's very, very important. Other than that, I don't know much. Now, I'm glad I'm, I'm somebody that has this knowledge because one of my biggest concerns, and this is because I take a pragmatic approach, right? When we talk about going through the QFS or an all digital currency, right? Mm -hmm. We know if the cabal was running that through the central banking system, right? They would be using that to, they could attach social credit scores to us. They could do anything. They could take our money anytime they want. And I love the blockchain for one reason is because it's, it's infallible in my, in my opinion. But how do we know that when it's introduced to us, it has to be introduced by a goodly godly entity or they can do the same thing through the digital currency. And I know you would have an answer for this, so that's why I'm deferring to you. Yeah, well, the